Yo guys and welcome back to another video. Today's video is a little bit of a different kind of video. It's not a match day vlog or me talking about my thoughts and predictions of things and games like that. It is my football jersey collection. That is right. I do collect jerseys. I've been collecting jerseys since I was probably like eight years old. But I just want to give out a few disclaimers for one thing. My collection's not actually worth what the title is. It is a little bit of clickbait. I know. I actually don't know how much my collection is worth. Maybe you guys in the comments can let me know. But I do have a very, very solid, good collection. I have some grails in there as well that we're going to see later on today. And another thing, I don't know the exact year of every jersey I have. So if I'm wrong, don't come at me. Don't throw shade at me. Don't do none of that. We are positivity only over here. I am going to show off a few of my jerseys and I'm going to give you my top 10 at the very end. So you'll see my best ever 10 jerseys that I have in my collection at the very end of the video. So stick around for that. We're going to start off early with the one I currently have on. Got this one at Adidas Outlet. Um, Juventus, I believe this is last year's jersey. It was on sale, so I grabbed it. It is really comfy. I love Adidas jerseys. That is one thing I'll probably say a lot throughout the video. I love Adidas jerseys. I have always loved Adidas jerseys. They're my favorite. They're the most comfortable. And this is just a nice kit, man. It's really comfy. It's loose. I like the colors. I like bright colors, which you'll see later on. But yeah, this is the first jersey. And I believe it's... No, it's not the most recent jersey I've purchased, but it's one of them. But... Good start, I think. Nice Juventus. It's my only Juventus jersey I own in my collection, so yeah. Then we're going to start off with the two in the back right here. This one I'm not too big of a fan of, if I'm honest. It's this past year's World Cup jersey for the USA. There's no name on it, nothing. It's just boring, really. I mean, <laughs> don't, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm glad I have it. I'm, I'm grateful for it and everything, but it's just nothing to it. It's, it's just no style to it. This one, on the other hand, I love this one right here. You can't see it. Ignore the holes in the wall. Had frames and stuff that fell off, whatever. But I believe this was from 2013, Authentic USA jersey away. I love the blue. Um, Nike, not my favorite, because they make Nike kind of tight, and I'm a big dude, so. But still, I wore this jersey a lot when I first got it, and this one is really special to me because it was a gift for my brother and sister-in-law as I was the best man in that wedding. So they got best man written on the back of it. That's really thoughtful and sweet. And um, this one is a sentimental piece. And I love the jersey and I've worn it plenty of times. It's just, it'll mean a lot to me and it always will. But that's my next jersey. So going off into another jersey, um, I'm going, y'all know I'm a Chelsea fan. So this is the first Chelsea jersey you'll see in this one. It is the 2012, 2013 home jersey. I love this jersey. This was honestly close to my top 10. We're starting off with a banger right here, man. I love this jersey. I love, the, again, this is when Chelsea had Adidas. And as I said, I love Adidas. They're comfy. It's just nice. It's slick. I love the gold. I love this year's Chelsea jersey as well. I plan on getting it. I don't have it yet because it reminds me so much of this one. It is hands down one of my all-time favorite Chelsea kits. I love the gold. I'm a sucker for gold. I love that slick feeling it has. There's no name on the back of it, just normal plain just normal plain home it's just an amazing jersey and i'm glad they went back down this route because this is just an awesome jersey really now with the next jersey i have i actually purchased this before messi went over here in america it's an inner miami jersey it's from their first ever season i pre-ordered this when they first got released the jerseys and before they had their first game that nice white and pink color slick material got that athletic fit to it Got some, you can see a little bit of the logo in there. It's kind of hard to see because it's white and transparent. But again, just a nice jersey. I like I like jerseys with the little buttons right here. Not collars, but like the buttons. This is just a really sick jersey, man. I love this thing. And I'm glad I have one before um, Messi came here so people don't think I'm riding a bandwagon of any type with Messi being here. I've had this way before. So yeah, this is awesome. Also really close to my top 10. It's one of my favorites. So comfy. So yeah, there's my first MLS jersey in the collection. Now moving more to a classic look. And again, this is an awesome jersey. It's a nice, it, it's a little bit, it's a little bit retro, I'd say. It's different. It's from 2013 USA jersey. Of course, when they have this logo right here, number 10. So you know who's on the back. That's right. Mixed Discaroo. No, it's Landon Donovan. One of my childhood heroes. Um, I idolized him so much growing up. One of my all-time favorite players. And this jersey is just so sick. And I remember getting this. Um, 
it didn't even fit me when I bought it. I just wanted it so bad because I had Donovan on it. It was a newer jersey. I got this jersey when I was like 14 years old. And now I've grown into it because I'm a big dude, as I said. <laughs> but yeah, just sick, man. There's the actual logo at the time right there in the um, the head sleeve. And then Nike, of course. USA has always had Nike from as long as I can remember. But yeah, that's the, what, already the third USA kit? There's a lot more, so let me just give you a heads up on that. Now going into my first Barcelona kit. It is, you probably just saw right there. It is the 2011-12 away jersey. Has the La Liga patch. Has the FIFA World Champions when they won the Club World Cup. Can you guess who's on the back? You probably already know. It's the GOAT himself, Lionel Messi. Such a sick jersey, man. I wore this so much as a kid. I love it. As I said, I love bright colors, so this hits right in my alley. I love the orange transitioning to yellow. It's just a clean jersey, man. This is this is honestly the last classic Barcelona. When I say classic, I mean my childhood and what I grew up on. This was the last classic jersey. I remember maybe the year after, too, but th this is the one right here. This and the home one with that burgundy and blue. It's just... It's iconic, man. I know a lot of people hate this jersey, but I, I love it. I love the bright colors, and I love Messi, and I love everything about it. So, yeah. Now, going into another Chelsea one. I love this jersey as well. This is from 2013-14, I believe, the year we won. No, 14-15, the year we won the title. Crap, is it 14-15? I don't know. I remember it's one of the years. I can't remember. No, it's either 14 It is 14-15 because we brought back the man himself, Didier Drogba. We had the second coming of Jose Mourinho, and we brought back Didier Drogba, who came back and scored just a handful of goals. But when he signed, I had to get his jersey, man. There was there was no stopping me from getting his jersey. He's probably top three favorite Chelsea player for me. Also, one of my heroes growing up, um, along with Landon Donovan, has the Premier League patches on it. I love the blue stripes, the, the Didier, and again, I... I'm going to say it every time. I just love Adidas, man. I think of Diego Costa when I see this jersey, but I got Drogba because, as I said, he's one of my heroes. And this is just, it's a classic, man. I just It's just a classic Chelsea kit, in my opinion, and everything about it. I wore this so much. I remember after school with uh, with some friends playing some kick rounds and stuff near the um, rec league we played in, wearing this jersey all the time. Just such a sick jersey. So many memories wearing that. And also, going into the next jersey, I am a Chelsea fan. Remember that I collect all kits, though, if I like the player enough. And that's going to be about this next one right here. It is a Man City kit. It has the Premier League golden patch on it from the year they won the title. Can you guess who's on the back? Who do you think of when you see a long sleeve Man City jersey? Mario Balotelli, man. I, I loved Mario Balotelli. I love how much how arrogant he was and how... His on the field antics he does he did all the time like the I still remember the back heel against the Galaxy I remember watching that game and with a buddy of mine and just laughing so much because it was it was so dumb and then he got subbed he got subbed off immediately such a funny moment man but I love Mario Balotelli and uh, I think of the Euros when I see Mario Balotelli Euro 2012 when had the iconic flex and celebration but. This is just a clean jersey, man. I'm not a Man City fan whatsoever, but I love Mario Palatelli. And I kind of like the jersey. This is when they had that all-black logo as well for their um, patch. Sick jersey, man. This is when they had Umbro as their ki uh, kit sponsor. That's crazy. I'm not a too big on Umbro, but this kit's awesome. I'll, I wore this one a lot, too. Now, we're going into the next kit. You remember what I said about that Barcelona one, that orange and uh, yellow one, the classic home one? Well, that's the next one right here. Got the La Liga patch right there. Can you guess who's on it? Is it the GOAT? No, it's another player I cherished a lot growing up. It is Andres Iniesta. I love this kit more than the away one. Um, every time I see this kit, I think of Messi just because this was part of the season where he scored 91 in a calendar year. Absolutely ridiculous, man. But that's such a nice jersey. Again, this is classic Barcelona look to me. I haven't really liked the Barcelona jerseys ever since this year, I don't think. I don't think I've liked them ever since. Um, been a few good ones here and there, but I love that uh, Qatar Foundation's logo, um, sponsor. Um, have a lot of memories seeing this jersey and a few others. Got the Mesquite Young Club in there, of course. Um, La Liga patch, just and again, another another good jersey, another classic in my opinion. Going into another Chelsea one, that's right. You're probably getting tired of seeing Chelsea, but don't worry. There's a lot more. <laughs> um, 2018-19 jersey. 
was it 1819 or 1920? It was, it was 1920. Um, Premier League patch right here, authentic jersey, Pride of London in the middle, uh, in the head sleeve. Nice Chelsea logo right there. Nike material, of course. Got the engineering thing right here. And on the back of it, I got Captain America himself, Christian Pulisic. Of course, being an American, I love Christian Pulisic. And when he signed for Chelsea, I had to get his jersey immediately. And I did. Um, too bad it didn't work out for him at Chelsea as much as we hoped for. But he's got to move now to Milan, which seems to be doing good. Scored a banger on his debut, by the way. Um, can't wait to see what he does the rest of his uh, career with Milan and wherever else he goes because he seems to have a coach who trusts him in his ability and hopefully get consistent game time and we can see the Pulisic we all know and love and maybe even glimpses and more consistent lockdown Pulisic for him. But yeah, I like this jersey a lot. Um, the design on is different, I would say, but I, it's a clean jersey, man. I like it a lot. Next jersey, Chelsea. Who would have thought? It is the away from 2011, 2012, the year we won the Champions League. Got the respect right there. So it's a Champions League. That's right. It is a Champions League jersey. You can probably see right there. It is Captain Leader Legend himself, John Terry. I wear this jersey currently to a lot of Chelsea games, or at least in my vlogs you've probably seen. Um, I like the checkered pattern. Such It's so different. Um, I wouldn't say it's my favorite, but it's... Like I said, it's different. And again, with Adidas, I love Adidas. I mean, we're gonna keep a cap. Take a shot every time you hear me say that. But uh, yeah, just nice, clean. I love the black. You can't go wrong with the black jersey. Um, the nice aqua teal blue right here. And yeah, I don't have many defenders on the back of my jersey, but I have John Terry. Couldn't, could not get a John Terry one considering I'm a Chelsea fan. Y'all are gonna be so mad at me. Y'all are probably clicked off with as many Chelsea jerseys. If I told you I had more, I warned you. Don't say I didn't warn you because I did. Got the 2009-10 home jersey from Chelsea, the year they, um, no, 2010-11, the year after they won the Cham uh, Premier League, 2009-10, I'm sorry. I already said in the disclaimer, I'm going to mess up some of these, it's, it's just going to happen. But yeah, I got that golden patch right there, nice, clean, um, again, Adidas, I, I, I'm telling you, the best kits are made from Adidas, everyone knows it. They make better kits than Nike, in my opinion. Then on the back, Childhood Hero, Didier Drogba. Yeah, nice, nice jersey. But yep, I'm gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to speed up a little bit because I know I'm talking about the same jersey, same players. Um, this is one of my favorite USA kits, man. Uh, the 2000 was it 11, 2011 third kit, the red number 10, Landon Donovan, childhood hero. As I said before, um, just a clean kit, man. This is I think the older old jerseys are just better, man. They just are. They're nice. They're clean. They're, they're not overcomplicated. That's the best way to put it. They're not over... It's just not overcomplicated. Nice, clean. Um, yeah, love that jersey. Don't wear it too often. Probably should. Next one, probably a bit of a surprise. Probably not many people have this type of jersey. Um, 2014 World Cup, USA home. Number two, DeAndre Yedlin. That's right. I do like DeAndre Yedlin. Not many people are fans of DeAndre Yedlin, but I was a big fan of him, especially back then because he was a youngster. He got a move to Spurs, and I thought he was going to, you know, be one of the different ones who go overseas and play, which he did. I mean, he went to Sunderland, Galatasaray, um, Newcastle. Now he's with Miami. But, yeah, I like this jersey a lot. I love I love the 2014 World Cup jerseys. I don't like the collar. I'm not too big on the collars. I've said that before. I love the buttons, but not... The collar. Yeah, nice jersey. Home 2014 World Cup. Another USA. I'm going to be quick with this one. 2010 home World Cup jersey. Landon Donovan, as usual. I have a lot of, I have a lot of jerseys of the same name just because I liked these certain players so much. So don't judge me too much, guys. I've been collecting these since I was little, man. Like seven, eight years old. And, of course, I got the same player every time a new jersey came out because they're just my favorite players. And as you can see, Landon Donovan was one of them. Dieter Drogba. Um, yeah, 2010 home World Cup jersey. Next one. I love this one. If it didn't have the collar, it'd be a probably a 10 out of 10 kit for me. That's just my opinion, though. AC Milan with the Buen sponsor right there. Such a classic sponsor. I think Real Madrid anytime I see that, though. And on the back, I got David Beckham. That's right. David Beckham was another favorite player of mine. Got his AC Milan jersey. I don't think a lot of people have this jersey, you know. I don't see many people have it. But yeah, David Beckham, just one of my favorite players, and I love Milan kits, man. I think everyone's a sucker for Italian club kits. And, you know, Milan makes one of the most classics with that red and black, and then ones like this, man, that gold AC Milan written on the back of the neck. 
Just sick, man. I'm going to be quick with this one. Same 2011-12 away, but this one with the Premier League patches. Got Fernando Torres on the back. I love Fernando Torres. I wish it would have worked out better for him at Chelsea. But he did win the trophies he never had, like the Champions League. So, And he doesn't regret a single thing about his Chelsea career. So, yeah, I love Fernando Torres as well. Just keep that in mind. This one, not much to say about it. New York City FC, I got this jersey when they first announced as a team. I wanted to get David Villa on the back of it, but it's just a blank. Um, yeah, nice nice kit, Adidas as, a, as usual. This kit, I have two kits that are like this, before you judge it. Sick kit from the, from the front. This Chelsea jersey is an all-timer. That black and orange, it's so different. So clean, and I remember getting this jersey as a kid, and I was like, I need to get a name on it. I need to get a name on it, and I want to get Drogba. So, I don't know if you know this, it's hard to get authentic jerseys here in America unless you order it from a website, or you just so happen to have a soccer store in your area, in which I do not. I do not know this, and I didn't know there was different kinds of numbers you get with the authentic way to get it. So, we went to a local, like, sports shop to get them to burn jersey on the back of it, the number. So I went to get drug butt and guys, it's not really what, it's not what it is, man. It, it ruined it. I should have kept it blank, but I didn't know any better. And it sucks, man, because that's such a nice jersey. Maybe I can get it like peeled off or something. I don't freaking know. I'm so mad about that. It is hot in here, y'all. I'm sweating. Jesus Christ. I'm standing above a van. It is hot. Next jersey, it's another Man City. I'm going to be quick with this one. Um, this was the year Man City won the title, Premier League uh, patch. Umbro sponsor, got the man himself, Sergio Aguero. Nice, nice jersey, man. Um, one of the all-time Premier League greats, in my opinion, but not going to go into too much detail. Don't really know why I got it, but I did. Another Chelsea kit. <laughs> You're probably tired of it. I know you are. Um, classic, man. That green, I love, as I've said, I love the bright colors. Just, uh, what year is this from? Is it 2010, 11, 9, 10? Something like that. Just, I love the green. I love that blue stripe in the middle. I love stuff like this, man. I love how different it is. It just goes against what the, um, the natural colors of what some of these teams are. Just it's such a nice thing. No name on the back. Um, as I said, y'all already know. I'm not even going to say it. This one, you're probably going to think, why is this one not in your top 10? How is it not in your top 10? And just what's wrong with you? Um, Real Madrid jersey, you can already tell how old it is. The iconic sponsor in the middle adidas it has the la liga patch and it has david beckham on the back no it is not zizu it is not ronaldo but david beckham still iconic from the galacticos era just sick man this was a hand-me-down to me and i'm so grateful i have this, this is i've never worn it and it's not in my top 10 just because it doesn't have a special meaning to me like some of these other ones do and it's not the most eye-throbbing jersey. I mean, it's a classic, don't get me wrong. But just not my style, you know. Still sick, though. David Beckham, legend. I don't know where I got this one from, so I'm not going to talk too much about it. I believe... Is this a... Is Santos. I don't know where I got this from. Number 10 on the back. Neymar? I, I don't know. If you guys know anything about this, please let me know in the comments. Because I have zero clue anything i have no clue about this none whatsoever so let me know this one again i'm not gonna talk about because it it's it's ugly honestly i don't know what year it's on usa jersey just not really much else to it i'm probably making someone mad with that but yeah not really much to it next one bit of a different one a lot of people probably don't have this in their collection it is a long sleeve New York Cosmos jersey. You do not see these often, man. New York Cosmos, that's what, that was the team Pele played for. Um, it was a USL team. It's no longer a team at all. Um, no one on the back of it of anything. I don't, oh, yeah, there is. There's number eight, and it just says New York on the back. Um, New York Cosmos, my dad likes this team a lot because my dad is um, very Pele as the GOAT person. And I'm messy, of course. But, yeah, this is a kind of a low-key sick jersey, man. It's... It's really iconic. It has that old school look to it. I think a lot of people would love to have this in their collection. I know I'm glad I have it. I've never worn it. This nice, clean, green, yellow, blue, bright colors as usual. Next jersey, not gonna talk about it. I do not know why I have two of those. This one means a lot to me. It's not a top 10, but it means a lot to me. It is a 2010 Spain jersey, number seven from the World Cup, David Villa. 
We talked about the heroes earlier. You probably didn't know my heroes from one of the recent videos, probably the Miami video intro. If you haven't checked that out, go check that out in the link below. But yeah, David Villa, just um, childhood hero. Everyone has that one player they pretended to be as in the backyard. David Villa was mine. David Villa, Landon Donovan, and Didier Drogba. Those three specifically. And David Villa, of course, lit up the World Cup that year, won it. Um, just, he's different, man. Spain's all time leading goal scorer, played for. Um, Barcelona, Atletico, Valencia, New York City FC, and the MLS. Just under, I don't, th I think he's underappreciated. I wouldn't say underrated. He's underappreciated. He's a, he's a lethal striker, man. I hate how he had a leg break with Barcelona and his Barca career didn't work out the way it wanted to be because that first year he was killing it and then that leg break just, it wasn't the same. Remember what you saw about that uh, Drogba jersey, the black and orange, how it was messed up on the name? Well, Chelsea jersey, I don't remember what year it's from. Let me know. I wanted a Nelka on the back. Yeah, same mistake, same everything. I'm not happy about it, but it is what it is. Next one, Spain. After they won the World Cup, they have the patch right here, the one star, there's no name on it. Um, I like this jersey a lot. I remember after they won the World Cup, the new jerseys came out and they had white, and I thought that was a little different. I know they had white jerseys in 2006 World Cup. Hint, hint. This one, had to have one. The old MLS logo and then Landon Donovan on the back of an LA Galaxy jersey. This one got washed wrong because the sponsor peeled off. You can see Herbalife. It just peeled off. It sucks. But LA Galaxy, Landon Donovan, of course the club he's known for being with the most. It sucks it peeled off. I have another jersey that's messed up like that, but it is what it is. Another one, Chelsea jersey, 2009-10, the year they won it. Um, regular Premier League patch and got Super Frankie Lampard on the back. That's right. Premier League's all-time lean goal scorer from midfield position. Um, of course, being a little bit biased, my debate between Ster uh, Gerard, Scholes, and Lampard, my vote will always be Lampard. A little bit of biasy, but also the way I like to play the game and score goals, I just, that's my thing. This one means a lot to me as well. This one needs to be washed. It's wrinkled. LA Galaxy jersey from 2016, away. And this is when Landon Donovan came out of retirement. So it's not the same jersey, not the number 10, but when he got the number 26 in honor of his son, I believe. Got the new MLS logo on the side. Um, yeah, I like that that navy blue color. I love this jersey. I wore this one at the first ever Charlotte game when they played LA. So I was one of the few LA fans in that stadium that night. This one I got recently at an Adidas outlet. It is a Belgium jersey. It has love on the back of it and it has all these nice colors to it. That's why I liked it so much. That's why it appealed to me. I love the colors on this man. You can't beat an Adidas kit. Just nice feel for it. Awesome jersey, man. No one on the back. I love that jersey. Next one, Barcelona, La Liga patch. No one on the name. UNICEF sponsor with the blue. Nice jersey, man. This is a. This is one of the better Nike kits in my opinion. This was before Nike made their kits super, super tight. Just, a, just nice, man. I think of this reminds me of Ronaldinho a little bit, but I know it's not that year. Um, that color is just iconic for some Barca fans. I have another 2010 World Cup Spain jersey. It's not David Villa, it's Fernando Torres. My brother gave me this. Not much else to it. My only England kit, it is, I wore this one a lot at soccer camps because my coaches were British and they always liked me wearing this jersey, even though I'm an American. The collar was the only thing I didn't like, but it has the buttons and it has David Beckham on the back, number seven. Nice, it feels different than most jerseys. It doesn't have that slick feel. It feels more like a t-shirt. Is that a good way to explain it? Just, I like everything about this jersey. It's, I wore it a lot. It meant a lot to me, and, you know, it's the only England jersey I have. Chelsea fans, my fellow Chelsea fans, as myself, please, please catch me a break and let me explain. I do have a Spurs jersey with the Premier League logo, and I'll tell you why. I got this jersey on a major sale, like, cheap as peanuts. I respected this player so much. I w He's probably the one player I wish we had at one point. Gareth Bale with the number three. Man, I loved Gareth Bale. He's one of my favorite players, honestly. I He played for teams I hated, though. Every team he played for, I did not like. I don't like Madrid. I don't like Spurs. And I do not like LAFC. But this is when he had the number three. This is when he was starting to break out and got his big move. Just... Such a nice, nice jersey, man. Nice player. Everything about Gareth Bale. I hate how injuries kind of didn't get him to exact. I mean, he won five champions. You can't really beat that, really. I love Gareth Bale. and I appreciate him. I'll admit as a Chelsea fan, I wish we had him. Another Spain kit with the star, with the patch number seven, David Villa. 
Not gonna go in too much detail about it. Now, remember that little hint about I said about the white Spain jersey, 2006? 2006 jersey, number 18, World Cup, 2006 World Cup. Sesk on the back. That's right, this is when he had just Sesk on the back. Sesk Fabregas, he was a youngster at this point. I don't remember where I got this jersey from, but it's sick. It's probably the oldest jersey I have in my collection, I think. Maybe the Madrid one. But yeah, just, I like Cesc Fabregas a lot, of course. Played for Chelsea and Arsenal and Barcelona. It's just a nice kit, really, isn't it? I mean, old school look to it. Now this one. Got this one on a sale as well. This is the... When I think of Barcelona, this is the kit I think of. The 2010-11 year. When I think of Barcelona, this is the kit I think of. The exact kit. The La Liga, UNICEF, classic red and blue stripe, yellow collar. Classic. And it has Busquets on it. Sergio Busquets when he was number 16. Uh, I remember growing up, I didn't appreciate his game. Didn't like his game. I don't know why I got the jersey. Because I didn't really care for him at the time. But now that I've grown more, I've had more knowledge of the game, I appreciate what he does and how he plays. But yeah, this is a classic right here. This is the classic Barcelona jersey when I think of Barcelona. Underrated player, underappreciated now plays such a vital role in the midfield and now he's with Miami and Messi and Jordi Alba but yeah sick kit man I'm trying to be quick guys but there's so many jerseys on to the next one the nice 2008-2009 Chelsea jersey I hate the collar as I said but it is what it is Champions League patch Michael Ballack sick jersey man sick player he lost a lot of finals though, didn't he? But he's still a legend, man. I remember I got this jersey because my favorite number is the number 13. And I saw him and I was like, 13, I'm gonna get his jersey. And I did even have the number 13 tattooed on, tattooed on me. Can't speak. Yeah, just nice, nice classic Chelsea blue kit with the yellow. I wish he would have stayed more at Chelsea, honestly, because he, he was a fantastic player. 2010 away, Landon Donovan. Love the navy blue, love the stripe, sick. Just not gonna go too much into it. This is from 2000, is it 12, 13 or 13, 14? No, 2010, 11. Home jersey has the Champions League patch on it that when they won it. La Liga patch, Cesc Fabregas. Got this jersey on a sale. This was also the year that Messi scored 91 in a calendar year. This was part of that season. That's what I think of when I see this jersey. One of the better Nike kits in my opinion. Slick, smooth, that's what you love to see. I have another Spurs jersey, y'all. Don't be mad at me, Chelsea fans, but hear me out. Again, it's not Gareth Bale. It's a long sleeve, Premier League patches, and the American in me had to get Clint Dempsey, number two. Arguably the best ever player to play for USA, despite my childhood hero of being Landon Donovan. You can't really argue about Dempsey and his big game player playing overseas, being the highest goal scorer in Premier League history as an American. Yeah, I have a lot of respect for Dempsey, and um, I love this jersey. Now, the only Argentina jersey I have in my collection is from 2000, is this 11? Or thir I think it's 11. Might be 13. Yeah, Y'all need to let me know. Please correct me. This is 2012. This is 2012 because I recognize the 2012, 2013. I recognize the number. It looks like the Euros number. I figured it out. See? Brains. I am the smart. SMRT. <laughs> yeah. Lena Messi on the back of it. Argentina. It's my only Argentina jersey. I need to get the new one, man. Either the one from the World Cup or the three star one, the Messi on. I have to. Now, this is one of the best Chelsea kits ever. It's not my style, but I know. It's a fan favorite. I believe it's from 2003 to 2005. I think it's that. Yeah, that's just, that's that's actually a classic right there, man. That's a classic jersey. The Fly Emirata sponsor, the blue and black in the middle, that old style uh, patch for Chelsea. No one on the back of it. Just not, um, the old FA Premier League patch. Nice jersey, man. Nice jersey. I'm glad I have this in my collection, even though I don't wear it. Next Chelsea jersey I have. Is this the last Chelsea jersey, I think? I have any in my top 10. Actually, well, pretend you don't see that one. Um, yeah, 2012-13, or is it 11-12? I think it's 11-12. Um, Premier League patch on it, um, that nice aqua blue stripe going down it, kind of like last year's catastrophe season. Um, Eden Hazard. I have to, I need a, another Hazard jersey with the number 10. But yeah, top five Chelsea player, in my opinion. Not even in my opinion, just in general. Let's be real here. He's probably top three for me, honestly. But yeah, number 17 before you switch to the number 10. Clean jersey, man. I love that blue. I love that white. Now, this is the last Spain kit in my collection. It is the 2010 away. That navy blue. No star, no name, no nothing. Just pretty plain, basic jersey. <laughs> Being real. Now, guys, we are going to get into my top 10 jerseys. Actually, it's 11. I couldn't decide between two. So top 10, top 11, however you want to put it. Um, a few grails in here. You probably already know some of them. You, 
you probably you probably you probably already know some of them. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm gonna get into that now. My top 10, my top 11, whatever. Um, I'm gonna have a tie break for 10. And I'll let you decide which one's the better kid. Okay. So let's get into that right now. Actually, guys, the more I think about it, the one you kept seeing back there, that one is gonna be number 11 for me. So not exactly top 10 yet. You know what? I said it was top 10 already, so we're gonna count it. Um, FA Cup Final 2012 Wembley. No one on the back of it, but why is this one in my top 11? Well, it's the year we won the Champions League and the FA Cup. Even has the FA Cup logo. But the reason this one is so special is because it is signed. Can you see it? Yeah, it's signed by Gary Cahill, former center back for Chelsea and captain. Um, ran into him before the Chelsea Wrexham game. Got him to sign, and he was in a rush, so I didn't want to take up too much of his time. He signed it for me, and I know this should probably be higher down the list because it's signed, but. Um, I don't know. Just I, I, I like I love the jersey. I love the jersey, but just not my favorite over these other ten that I have. So yeah, this is gonna be number ten and a half. We'll go with ten and a half. We'll be fair. So yeah, that's number ten. Now we're gonna get into my top ten. Starting off with the new, even has the tag still on it. The newest Milan kit. I love the Puma authentic patch right there. It's got the Serie A on the side as well. Puma, classic red and black colors, and I got Christian Pulisic on the back. You know, when he transferred, I had to get the jersey. I'm a Pulisic fan. Clean, clean jersey. Anyone would wear this, and um, you can't beat this red and black. You cannot beat it. So sick, and that sponsor as well. Just a, just a sick jersey, man. I can't wait to wear this one and um, take the tags off, of course, because I haven't done that yet. But yeah, this is number 10 for me. This is number 10. Um, but yeah, this is the um, this is the only Milan kit other than the Beckham one I have. This is the only Milan kit I have. It's the only home one I have. I need to get more, honestly. But that is number ten. Now we're moving to number nine. Number nine. I will be very surprised if anyone has this in their collection. Okay. And this one means a lot to me as well. 2012 MLS All Stars jersey in Philadelphia has the logo, has the AT&T sponsor Adidas, the MLS side. Um, patch and then on the back I got you guessed it, Landon Donovan um, my brother got Beckham on his but yeah I love I love the kit too man that silver metallic color with the navy blue and the the neon lime green sick jersey man it means a lot to me because it was the first time I ever saw Chelsea play live too they played against MLS All-Stars and lost I don't want to talk about it but yeah this this jersey means a lot to me I got to see a lot of my childhood heroes I never thought I'd see at the time in it it was a family vacation, so this one means so, so, so much to me. I'll never, ever get rid of this jersey. It is number nine for me in my collection, though. Moving to number eight, it is the Charlotte FC jersey from their first season because it doesn't have the Apple thing on the side, but it has the MLS, um, has the Adidas, the Alley, no name on the back. This is one of my favorites. Honestly, this could have been top five for me because it's one of my favorite colors, that Carolina blue. Um, the logo's sick. It's local to me. And this is one of the best ones in MLS, in my opinion. And I just love the color. It's one of my favorite ever colors. Um, the CLTFC on the, the back. Um, it's just, it's simple. And that's why I like it so much. It's simple. It's not over-exaggerated. It's just simple. And that's what I like so much about it other than, you know, everything else I've already said. Going into number eight. Remember that classic Barcelona one? It is that. It is the classic Barcelona one. It is not Busquets on the back of it, though. And it's not Messi, either. It has the La Liga patch. Um... The Mess Kayun Club thing on the side. And on the back it is David Villa. As I said, one of my favorite ever players. This is the year they won the Champions League. David Beckham. Not David Beckham. David Villa scored that screamer against Man United in the Champions League final. It is a classic jersey, man. It is so classic. This is Barcelona to me. This is what I think of that classic Barcelona. I wore this so much as a kid. So, so, so much. And it means so much to me. As, as I said, I love David Villa, and this kid is just awesome. I love it. Number six, it is my first ever jersey. It is my first ever jersey. Number six is my first ever jersey. Probably should have been top five, but it was hard with these other ones I have. You'll see. It is LA Galaxy with the Herbert Life spots with the two stars, long sleeve, MLS, David Beckham. The year we signed David Beckham. The year LA signed David Beckham. First ever jersey. I have friends who want this jersey. Um, 
I will never be able to wear this because it will never fit me. I will never fit into a medium, just being real here. It meant so much to me when I got this kit. I wore it so much. I wore it everywhere, almost every day, outside, wherever. I could play soccer, kick the ball, I wore it. Um, parents got it for me one year for Christmas, I believe, when I was younger. It just means a lot to me, and I love this jersey. I love, love this jersey. If I could keep one jersey in my whole collection, probably it would be this one. Even though it's my sixth one, it just has the most meaning behind it to me. Um, yeah, it has the most meaning to me, so I'll, ne I'll never get rid of this one. Number five, it's a Real Madrid jersey, I know. You'll see why, though. Nice kit, nice sponsor, Adidas, Liga patch, long sleeve. I said I appreciated him, Gareth Bale. I ran to get this jersey, so I don't know if you know this, guys. We have what they called, I think it was Eurosport at the time. I think it's World Soccer Shop now. I might be wrong, or Soccer.com, one or the other. Um, Eurosport does this thing, used to do this thing every year where they had a warehouse sale. This is where they did all their shipping, all their um, delivering all this stuff. And they do a one annual warehouse sale every year. And everything was like half off to 40% off. It was jerseys, cleats, um, a lot of stuff. And a lot of these jerseys I got from that too. But I ran when I saw this one. Because not only do I like the player so much, but I love the font on this. I love how the number and name is on it. It's sick. It is the year Bale signed and they won La Decima. It's just clean, man. I don't know what it is about it. It's bold. It's dark. It's it's just a sick jersey. It's so, so, so sick. It's If I could wear one jersey forever, it's probably this one, despite me not being a Madrid fan. It's just nice. It's, it's stylish. It's comfy. It's loose. And the long sleeves make it even better. I wore this one so much at kick grounds. Trust me. I love this jersey. I love, love, love this jersey. It'll be so hard for me to ever get rid of it, which I'm not. Let's be real here. But yeah, this is my fifth overall. We're in the top five now. This is my fifth overall pick. Now we're going to get into the really, really special ones. You probably already know some of them, though. So let's get into that. Starting off with number four, as the grail maybe, it is the 2014 World Cup USA jersey. It is autographed by a bunch of players. When I went to TST, if you haven't seen that vlog, link in bio. Go check it out. Sick. Met so many people. Even interviewed some of them. Well, interview got to ask a question or whatever. It is signed by a bunch of former USA players. Um, you got Jeff Cameron. You got Eddie Johnson, Jermaine Jones, Brad Friedel. Not Brad Friedel. Brad Evans. Um, Mike McGee, former MLS MVP, played for LA and Chicago. Jimmy Conrad, um, Nick Raimondo. All these guys signed that jersey. A lot of the World Cup players from that uh, 2014 uh, means a lot to me because they gave me their time to um, talk to me and sign it, and it just means a lot to me. I need to get this one framed, though. It's, it's a sick jersey as well. I wore this jersey a lot before I got signed. Now I'll never wear it again because it's signed, but good reason. Now... Top three. We're into the top three. This one's going to be heavy, so I'm going to pick it up. It is the Away 2010 USA. Yeah, the frame fell and broke. Thankfully, the jersey's okay. But yeah, 2010 Away USA World Cup jersey. Clint Dempsey. It is signed right in between the eight. You can probably see it now. Yeah. Signed by Clint Dempsey himself. Got a picture with him as well. That was from TST. Again, link in bio. Go check it out if you haven't already. So, yeah, that is number three. Probably could be one or two on other people's list, but these other two will not be beaten ever. But yeah, Clint Dempsey, all-time leading goal scorer with Landon Donovan, and probably overall ability and what he's done for the game. He's probably the best ever play for USA, but I'll, you know, you know what I'm going to say. Getting into my top two now, it is the Chelsea 2020-2021 jersey from the year they won the Champions League. Their second ever Champions League. Their second ever Champions League. This one is signed as well. It is signed by... Malu Gusto, the new signing. You got Nani Madueke right there. You got Connor Gallagher right here. And then in the blue, you have World Cup winner Enzo Fernandez. And then down here, you have Christopher Nkunku as well. Um, went to see Chelsea Wrexham open training. Again, link in bio. So, yeah. Um, the fact that I got to meet some of the Chelsea players and get them to sign, especially someone like Enzo Fernandez who just won a World Cup, is absolutely unbelievable. Um, top two jersey, probably top for one, but this one I got to get it framed as well. I got to get all. I got to get a lot of these framed, man. If 
for real. Now, my favorite ever jersey, my number one. You've seen it before. You've seen it right here, and you've seen it in a recent video that will be in the link down below, along with the other stuff you should go check out because they're sick videos, you know? So, my number one jersey is the Inter Miami Apple TV on the side logo, Messi. Why does this one mean so much? Is this the best looking jersey I have in my collection? No, it is not. But if you haven't seen the video, this day in jersey means a lot to me. I went to see, in my opinion, the best ever player play live, who means so much to me, who has made me honestly emotional at times watching him play, especially when he won the World Cup. I flew to Miami just to go see him play, and the fact that I got to see him play live and score two goals and got an assist was everything to me. You could see it. If you haven't seen it already, as I said, check it out. It's a sick video, and the video is at 25,000 views now. Crazy. Thank you. 600 likes. Much love for y'all. But yeah, this one just means a lot to me. Um, it's not the best looking jersey. It's still a nice jersey. It's probably a solid 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, but you know how I feel about collars. Anyway, I had to get something to remember this day by other than the video, and I had to pick me up a jersey since they're so hard to order. I had to get one when I was there, and yeah, this one just means a lot to me. It'll always mean a lot to me. It's going to get framed and everything, and I'm probably going to have it hanging somewhere um, one day soon. Anyways, guys, that is my football jersey collection. Let me know which one's your favorite. Let me know which one you hate, and let me know which ones you might want in my collection. Just let me know. I'm up for conversation. Also, correct me on the ones I've mistakenly gotten wrong about what year or whatever. But that is all I have for you guys today. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. The subscribers have the new subscribers who have came in. Thank you so 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 much. I hope you enjoy the videos. I have so much more planned for you guys as always. Um, continue to sp uh, spread love, show the love, and um, it just means so much to me that you guys support this channel. And for as little as we've done, not as little as we've done, for as little as I've been creating, it means a lot to me that people are finding the videos and enjoying them. I'm trying to get better at it. I hope you guys enjoy it, as always. Stay tuned for more videos in the future, as always. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And I will see you all in the next one.